hello, we're back and we've reached double figures. We're about to begin round 10, so we're going to use colour C. Your work, obviously. Crochet hook, scissors and bodkin. I think this may be an opportune time to remind you, if you were um, patient enough to sit through the introductory video, it's a probably a good time to remind you of the two rules. One, don't panic. And two, it's only crochet. If you've not watched that video and you're thinking, why is she saying these things? I'm going to show you why I'm saying those things. I'm going to, <laughs> I'm showing you that because of that. It's a little bit daunting potentially because up till now we've worked with DC or TR or even an INC, but now we've got an awful lot of letters vying for our attention. I'm going to debunk this for you. It's really not going to be a problem. And by the end of this video, you are going to be FB, FP, DTR, 3 TOG all over the place and not even thinking about it. What FP, DTR, 3 TOG actually stands for is front post, double treble, three together. I have to remind you folks that that is UK terms. I, um, I actually, if you are an American person, you are lucky because you can lose that D. And then it's not quite so daunting. But we are looking at an FP DTR3 TOG. And what that looks like is this little section here is what FP DTR3 TOG looks like. Completely achievable. Um, and it's a front post, double treble, three together. And I'm gonna break all of that down for you. So please don't panic. The good news is the other element of this round is our old faithful, nice and comfortable, let's not worry about it, double crochets into the back loop only. So that's what we're going to be looking like when we're finished. We're also gonna be looking very, very smug and no longer worrying about long stitch names, I predict. Are you ready? Shall we start? We're going to join in our beryl dark green yarn and we're going to, <laughs> terrible model, we're going to join that into the first stitch and any increase from the previous round. So the increase being the two double crochet we've made into one stitch. It's going, joining into the first one of those. And I'm just going to remind you we're working back loops only. So there you go. Just if you might note, blah, if you've noticed that the lighting's a bit different, so it's just because we've had an epic rant at the light in here, we being me, and we've had a bit of a move around, so hopefully that's nice and clear for you. This is like behind the scenes chat, isn't it? Behind the scenes chat. Sorry, shall I show you what I'm doing? That'd be good, wouldn't it? We'll do that. Okay, so I've joined in the um, the green yarn into the, the first double crochet of the increase. And we're gonna work to start with five double crochets. So, so our join counts as one, two. We're warming up to that big scary monster. Three, four. Five. Right, at this point, I'm going to take my hook out because I want to show you some stuff. We're going to be working this stitch into the front post. That's the FP part of our um, big long name. And the front posts, what it means is rather than kind of going into a, a stitch as you normally would and getting your hook horribly stuck, you, you we're going to work around one of the posts of the treble here. Can you see what where I've put the hook? So the hook is gonna go just from front to back around like that. That's it. That's that FP debunk. That's all that means. That's where you're gonna put your hook. Okay, so the next part of that, we're looking at double trebles. So if we're gonna, again, sorry folks, this is a UK term. I think this is a treble, isn't it, for you US? guys but for our double treble we, we need to, to have um yarn around the hook twice before we start our stitch 
All right, so that's the double treble part really. And we're gonna take our hook and put it around that front post to that position I just showed you. So it's just, sort of just going behind the treble really. And we're gonna start making our stitch. So pick up the yarn, pick up again and go through two hooks, two hooks, two hoops, loops. And one more time. Now, because we're treble, we're doing three of these together, that's the three tog part at the end, we're not going to finish this stitch. Whenever you um, crochet stitches together, you may do two together, three together, whatever it is, what you're going to do is leave the last stage of that stitch undone. It's just not going to complete the stitch. So it's going to leave us with two loops on the hook after the first one. So now we're going to go and do another one because we've got to do three of them. We're doing three together. This is our first and they're double trebles. So they're going round twice and you know where to put your hook. It's going just behind that treble, just like that. And we're just going to complete our double treble. So pick up the yarn and go through two loops, pick up the yarn and go through two loops. And normally we'd do that one more time to finish our stitch, but we're not going to. We're going to leave that there so now we've got three loops on the hook and we're going to do this one more time because we've got to um we've got to do three of these stitches together so yarn around the hook twice take the hook and go behind that treble i'm just going to show you that really again so yarn is around the hook twice to make the double treble hook is going through and behind that treble, can you see? Right, so pull through, pick up the yarn, go through two loops, pick up the yarn, go through two loops. Now, we've got to the end of those three double trebles, but we've still got four loops on the hook. So it's dead easy to finish. All we're gonna do is pick up our yarn and go through all four loops and that is a front post double treble three together and I don't think it was that scary we're going to do another one before we do another one there is another little piece of this that may trip you up it tripped me up and um, I don't want you to fall into that uh, bracket or down that rabbit hole or trap or whatever Okay, and I'll show you what it is. So on our pattern, it says skip no stitches. And I'm glad that it says skip no stitches because on all the other ones where we've, uh, on these rounds where we've crocheted these trebles down using stitches from previous rounds, if you remember, we missed stitches behind them. We're not doing that this time. We're just gonna carry straight on, which is fine. But here is where I got into a muddle because I actually, let go of the yarn. I actually made my next stitch in the same stitch where this one was coming out because when I didn't kind of lean it forward enough it was easy to kind of lose sight of this stitch so I put my first stitch in here and got in here sorry and got in a terrible muddle so just uh, pay attention to to start with to where those stitches come out and where you need to carry on from. Now what we're gonna do is, is do three double crochet in the back loops only, and that, oops, and that is what is going to finish our pattern for this. Basically, as I said to you to begin with, we've got eight double crochet between each of these little um, double treble three together, so we've got eight of them. All right, but we've already done five. If you look at that, you can see it's, it, we, that's one way of looking at it. It's sort of like some one side, some the other, and the things that in the middle. But we just need eight double crochet. So we've gone three, and here come five. And again, you'll know if you're on the right track because if you count three, like I said, this is the end of that repeat. The beginning of your next repeat should start in the first stitch of the increase from the previous round. It's a nice way to keep a track of what you're doing to make sure it works out um, and will join up correctly when you get to the end of the round. I've forgotten how many I've done. I'm going to have to count now, just a second. I can't talk and crochet, can I? It's a bit of a worry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, here we are. So we're ready again. 
to um, have another go. I'm sorry, I'm just having to. I'm, I'm going to. I've got a yarn bowl here. I'm sure you can't see it. It's useful for some reason. This green is not doesn't want to play ball um, when it, when we unwind, unwind. It's just wound too beautifully by Danny and John. Okay, so we're now going to do another one of these front post double treble three together. How are you feeling about it now? Out of interest, how are you feeling about it? So we're going to go round the hook twice. Take the hook and put it under that treble. Pick up the yarn and go through two. Pick up the yarn and go through two more and then stop leaving two loops on the hook. Here we go with the next one. So yarn around twice, hook under the post of the treble, pull through, pick up, pull through two, pick up, pull through two and stop. And now we've got three loops on the hook. One last time, round the hook twice, behind the post, pick up, pick up the yarn and go through two, pick up the yarn and go through two more and stop. And so now you can really clearly see you've made three double trebles there and so you're ready to finish. So you're just gonna pick up the yarn one more time and go through all four hooks. And that is it. Do you want one more? Shall I do one more? Very quickly, one more. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna count eight double crochet now. One, through the back loops, two, three, Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. So once more with the semi-complicated part. Hopefully, you're seeing this is as not scary now at all. If you were before, I'm sure you won't. But if you were, hopefully, it's not a problem now. So I've gone round my hook twice. I'm going to take my hook under that post. Yarn over and through two more. So we're at the last stage of the double treble, we're leaving it as it is with two loops on the hook. Round the hook twice, behind the post, pick up and through two, pick up and through Oops, slip two. So that's two done and three loops on the hook. Last time, round the hook twice. Oops. Under that treble. Pull through yarn. Yarn over, through two. Yarn over, through two. That's our three complete and we want to push them all together. So we pick up one more time and go through all of the loops. And there it is. Isn't it looking pretty? Right, I shall stop and I'll be back to you at the end. Okay, and that's me at the end of the round. So we made it. We've made it. It's not so scary, is it? So um, I'm sure you were undaunted by that. And if you weren't, I hope you are now. And we're going to get some more practice because the next round is very, very similar. So that's good, isn't it? Sorry, I've just snipped the yarn. And get, hey, guess what we're going to do? I, I'm going to give you a prize. If you can say, if you're shouting needle join at me, award yourself five points. I just thread that needle just like that. Did you notice? Okay, so back to front through the loop. You know the drill. Don't pull it too tight. Go to your needle and follow, 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 follow the stitch around and it goes under 
and pull and sit it on top of the chain and follow, 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 follow and it goes back through like that. Push that straight down. There you go. Round 10 is complete. Yay! I'll go and check my stitch count and I will um, sew in the ends and we'll just go straight on with round 11. Mm -hmm. 